excited for our next guest. She is best known for playing Spencer on Pretty Little Liars. <laughs> It's a show that has given us 230 murders. Please welcome Troy and Belisario. Hello. Hi. Thank you for being here. Thank you. So you're on Pretty Little Liars. Yes. And you got on social media because you have 10 million Instagram followers. Yeah. That's. that's we're all it's humbled a, by that. Everyone a, like, <laughs> oh my humble. gosh, she's a real thing, famous person. <laughs> that's a real thing. But you, I heard that you kind of got on social media. This is the millennial episode. This is why we're talking about this. Yeah, you got on social media because like, they were like, we just need, it was a precautionary measure because you don't want people imitating yes. you, right? Yeah, actually, so, so you know, they, they kind of told me at the, at the beginning, they said, you know, we're finding that people are very responsive on Twitter uh, to the show, and we think it would be great if you got on Twitter as well. So I, um, I was like, I don't really know if that's my thing. I'd just rather, like, show up and act and then go home and be myself. But then I started noticing that on Twitter, people were impersonating me. Oh. And saying things that, like, I would never say, like, this is my dog, who is a Yorkie named Buttercup, and she's the love of my life. And I was like, no, sir. <laughs> sir, no, sir. <laughs> and, uh, and so I was like, well, great. If, um, if I'm going to have to be a part of the conversation, then I would rather be my genuine you voice. You were almost forced to do it. Yeah, they forced my hand. I like how the worst thing was someone saying, like, I've got a Yorkie. Like, normally it's like, my name's Eliza. 9-11 was an inside job. I'm a real comedian. <laughs> And yeah, so, thank God it wasn't that. You have a crazy story because you lost your phone once. Oh, my God. Yeah. Tell us the story because, first of all, losing your phone is horrifying. It's, like, I don't have it right now, and I'm not positive that someone hasn't stolen it. And <laughs> I, I know, know it's plugged. Right? Like, you get, like, the shakes. Yeah. You lost your phone, and somebody returned it to you in a very odd way. In a, yeah, well, uh, returned it to me over the course of, like, a whole saga. Um, like, you sent you pieces? Yeah. <laughs> it was just, like, yeah, it was, like, a forensic version of my phone. <laughs> so I was hiking, and I, like, took my whole bag out of my car, and then, like, in idiot i didn't put it back in my car okay. i think because i was wrangling with my dogs and uh not yorkies not yorkies they are not yorkies sir so don't believe the tweets so he found it and he started going through different contacts in my phone trying to call people also in my bag along with my phone were these extra tickets for coachella that i meant to sell <laughs> <laughs> on like the dark web <laughs> yeah okay yeah um for bitcoins <laughs> so um <laughs> I had gone the previous weekend, and, and, and I had these extra tickets, and I was like, I couldn't, my friends didn't want to go second weekend. I was like, second weekend? No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> uh, so anyways, so he found them, and, and he was like, he was like, seriously, are you going to use these? And I was like, no, I'm not. And he was like, seriously, can I go to Coachella? I promise you I'll take the best care of your phone. I will. I will. And I had this moment where I was like, I didn't want to piss him off. And then I started looking him up, and I saw that he was like a really, really funny dude. And I was like, look, if you go, Will you be super protective? And he's like, yeah, absolutely. And then, he's, and then I said, and also if you go, will you show me everything you do on Snapchat? Oh my God, that's so forward and thinking of you. And he did. And he got up on stage with like Skrillex. And he had a better time at Coachella than I did. Yeah, he had like a hot girl's phone. I want to live in your world where like things <laughs> just work out. You're like, my phone got stolen and then the guy gave it back to me after he had an amazing time. I'm like, oh, my iCloud got hacked and my life was ruined. Yeah, that, and, and that is, yeah, so I was very, very grateful that Jack turned out to actually be like a super he good dude. He has a name. Jack, yeah, Jack is great. There he is. That's, yeah, wait, wait, there's me and Jack oh, hanging out together and being a decent phone back. human. Interesting segue because you kind of, produced slash directed this weekend, and you're yeah. directing the episode of Pretty Little Liars tonight. Yes. Yeah. This is a very big deal. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks. And you have a movie coming out. Yes, I do. I um, uh, also, it, I, I did not direct this movie, but I did write it. it. I wrote my first feature film. Wow. Yeah, and I'm in it, and uh, I helped produce it as well. And like it's about a girl who loses her phone. It's about <laughs> <and tribulation. laughs> it, it is. It's a saga. What's it called? Uh, the film is called Feed, and it is sort of semi-autobiographical about a moment in my life, but it is uh, a very different spin on it. Well, I think these guys are very excited for it. Troy and Belisario, thank you.